Pebble users, watch this and update your account to Rebel before June 30th. I'm just gonna say it, I'm not really a watch person, but when I saw the Pebble time round, I thought that this was the one smartwatch that I would wear, even if it weren't a smartwatch. It's thin, it's got a beautiful multicolor ink display, and for some reason it thinks I'm in Vegas, but I'm in Shanghai, which is kind of incredible in its own right. This thing gets the weather, it can play my music, and it runs for a hella long time on just one battery charge. So I bought this, actually after I heard that they were acquired by Fitbit, and I've still never seen another smartwatch that does aesthetics quite as well. So why would I be so stupid as to buy one when the servers that it relies on are about to be shut down? Well, guess what? There's a project in the works called Rebel. In this post from February, project lead Catherine Berry explains what the differences will be under Rebel. You'll have to create a new account and switch to Rebel. They'll be able to import much of what you already created. There's a new shiny Rebel app store, and the timeline will continue, although it'll be a little bit slower, updating every 15 minutes. Weather and Dictation both use paid APIs, and so there will be a small donation fee in order to use these services but you can also choose not to use them at all. Unfortunately, iOS replies and actions require a significant amount of privacy and security consideration, and so the project isn't touching them, which I think is a good choice. There's always a trade-off between convenience and security, and I think they went the right way. CloudPebble is a web-based development environment, which was actually written by the author of this post, Catherine Berry, and so that's expected to have really good support under Rebel. However, in order to make sure that your apps still exist and are editable under the Rebel version, you have to transition before the end of June. So if you're a Pebble developer, then get on it and you'll be able to save all your work. They have a couple quick notes about funding with more information on the donation-based system. They're expecting that that will end up being about $2 a month, which is awesome. And finally, Catherine takes the time to thank Fitbit for being so helpful to the community after acquiring Pebble in the first place. They have gone above and beyond to support the nascent replacement movement and given extra server time to help with the transition. If you're ready to transition, just go over to Rebel Auth and log in using your preferred method. I linked it to my GitHub, for example. After that, I had to log in with my Pebble account, which required actually resetting my password because I couldn't remember it, but it was no problem, I got a reset link immediately in my email. And now all I have to do is check back and keep up with the project to see what happens next. Thanks to Catherine and the whole Rebel team, remember to switch your account by the end of June and keep on ticking. Or beeping or whatever. <laughs>